people ask us why we started the captains, and we usually tell them something like, oh, it's for the passion of fishing and boating. But the real reason is, we just didn't have a fucking boat. Connor dropped us a note and showed us his Stabycraft 1850 Frontier. Now, we haven't been in a Frontier for a little while, so we thought we had to check this baby out. It's got a 115 horsepower Suzuki and low rant sounders. We had grand plans of taking this thing offshore and trying to catch a mako shark out of it, but we looked at the weather report this morning, it was blowing 30 knots with a big 4 metre swell. So, I thought we'd take it out for a few jump shots anyway, before coming back to the old tried and true honey hole in Pittwater. We caught a few live squid, got some pillies, and had a crack at some brim and snapper. So my name's Connor Burke, and I'm from Jamboree. We chose a Stabycraft because it's stable, and we can rely on it. And we've gone for the frontier, so we've gone for casting and for soft plastics and for bait fishing. The casting platform's awesome, where you can get up high with the mink coat on it. We can always get a good cast in. Bait tank is awesome. Get 66 litres in it, so it can hold a lot of bait in there. The Susie always runs well, so we've got a 115 on it, and she goes like a dream. The gunnels are massive and um, it's great to walk on. You can walk right around the boat. Yeah, you can always find a seat somewhere on the boat. The storage, we've got massive pockets on the side of the boats where we can fit seven foot rods in there. We've got a, a massive 105 litre esky right in the guts for the seat. We usually put our life jackets and stuff in there. And then we also got the casting platforms where we can actually lift up and also put other dry storage in there. We got two Mink Coda batteries up the front and we still got a fair bit of room up in there still. So we got Lorance sounder, a Gen 3 9 inch sounder. We've always had Lorance sounders, so we just find them easy to use. So on the trailer, she weighs about a tonne and a half. So she's 2.4 to the beam and she's 5.6 metres long. She is a bit of a weapon. She, um, you know, she goes through waves and you do feel confident in it. So um, Stabby Craft, that is their motto. So it comes through with, you know, handling on the boat. When I did first see the Stabby Craft, I'd, I thought they were pretty ugly, but it's something where yeah, you grow to and now I just look at her and I think she's a beautiful, beautiful boat. So, so we're fishing up north today with the captain, got a couple of squid to start the day with and then we head back in, um, inside to belly up for some Bremen snapper. They're definitely taking them home today, they're definitely um, not sports fishermen, they're meat fishermen, so yeah, they'll have a good feed tonight. You know,